We're on your side tonight doing good with Share Charlotte and embracing differences. As a parent, the ultimate fear is for a doctor to give you bad news concerning the health of your baby. But on the other side of that fear, there's usually a blessing and a journey you wouldn't change for the world. Does it get to a point where it's like, this is, this is who she's supposed to be. This is everything is what it is supposed to be. I love it. She's perfect. So. <laughs> maybe we're not the right ones. You know, maybe we have it all twisted. Neek Miller is Harlow's mother. Harlow is two years old now and was diagnosed with Down syndrome at birth. It's a condition in which a person has an extra copy of chromosome 21. 3,000 to 5,000 children are born with it every year. This diagnosis can be overwhelming for parents at first because some people with the condition have other medical problems as well. Harlow was also born with congenital heart defects and had to undergo surgery. Because I was scared that she might not make it, but the surgeon said if he touched a part of the heart, the electrical portion of the heart, she would have a defibrillator for the rest of her life. That was the scariest. I don't even think it was more so the Down syndrome. It was the what goes on after, but he came out of that room. <laughs> and that's right. And look at me now, right? Ah, look at her now. Um, Harlow's heart is resilient, and organizations like the Down Syndrome Association of Greater Charlotte provide support so Harlow and others with Down Syndrome continue to live happy and healthy lives. The Down Syndrome Association of Greater Charlotte is really out there to support that community, to uh, drive awareness and education, because lots of people don't know. People outside of the community haven't got a clue what's going on inside that community. So just level setting for everyone, but giving mm -hmm. kids the opportunity to try things, to do things. So we have the adult retreat camp, which is an overnight camp, and that's fantastic, because for many kids, that's the first bite at independence from mm -hmm. the parental units who have been around all these time. It gives kids the opportunity to spend time around other kids with Down syndrome and do art and crafts and do uh, drama, dress up and do like just things that you don't get a chance to do in school and you wouldn't get a chance to do if you were sitting at home uh, watching TV over the summer. Neil Middlemiss moved to Charlotte back in 2020 with his family. He's on the board of directors for the Down Syndrome Association. His 12-year-old son, Ryan, has Down syndrome. Middlemiss sat down with our Jamie Bull to tell his family's journey. Check it out. When did you find out? How, was that in utero? How did that process work to find out? Yeah, no, my, uh, we, you can have a test, so they can do a procedure yeah. to see if the child has a, could be, uh, have Down syndrome uh, when you're pregnant, but we opted not to do that, but, and we got the diagnosis within a few hours after Ryan was born. They noticed uh, the crease in his hand, yeah. uh, they noticed his eyes, and they, so they said, you know, we think he may have Down syndrome, we're going to do a test. Uh, and as you can imagine, that's quite a shock because you build up this expectation of your child and the life and what is typical and you're thrown a curveball. So sure. you have to reset your expectations. But, you know, the, the first thing we did was to tell us everything we need to know about Down syndrome. What is the, sort of the biggest lesson that you've learned on this journey now of 12 years? That Ryan uh, and the kids with Down syndrome will surprise you. Mm -hmm. Don't set limits on them. Yeah. Don't think they can't do a thing. Don't expect or assume that they won't do a thing or can't do a thing. Uh, believe that they can. And in most cases, they can. It just takes them a little bit longer, mm -hmm. which is the second lesson. For God's sakes, be patient. Because uh, the, the, I was telling someone this recently that the, it essentially, they take childhood and they, and, and with a child with Down syndrome, it is stretched out. Yeah. So things sort of slow down, the progress to reach the milestones of walking and sitting up and talking. So he's been in speech therapy and physical therapy and occupational therapy. But he can do anything. Mm. Just takes him a little bit longer and be patient until he gets there. How do you handle it? We have to check ourselves because, I mean, in, in all honesty, there are things that Ryan can't do. Like, he, there are words he can't pronounce. He, his comprehension isn't quite there. Um, so you have to recognize and dial in when he's truly not able to do a thing yet mm -hmm. and just give him the opportunity to try again and give him the opportunity to try again and again and again. And it's just, 
It is just setting a, uh, slowing down and setting an expectation. And, and that really gets into what your organization that you work for here uh, does, right? What got you involved with the organization? Uh, I was looking for ways to give back, to learn more about how I can support Ryan. Because for me, Ryan, when he becomes of work age, there has to be a role for him mm -hmm. in society. He has to, like, he's going to need a job, <laughs> to put <laughs> kind of a blunt part of it. Because uh, right. I want him to have a fulfilling, independent life. Because we won't always be here. So preparing him for that long-term future. And through my company, uh, they helped connect uh, employees, teammates, with nonprofits that were looking for, for uh, board of director individuals. And so mm -hmm. as soon as I saw Down syndrome yeah. was looking for someone, I was like, that one, that one, absolutely that one. So we, uh, we had conversations. I talked about what we could do as an organization. So an enormously talented, committed group of directors and employees. We have a couple of employees. Mm -hmm who do the great work that we're talking about here, putting on the fundraising events, the 321 Dash, the Buddy Walk, uh, which is coming up in October, put on the camp. It's an enormous amount of work, but done with passion. What did it mean, though, to, have, to get that kind of support and to see others out there participating like this? What did that mean to you? Overwhelming, yeah. actually, because, you know, you're like, not saying I didn't think people cared, but you're like, I have all these people around me, like, as far as family. Everybody's behind you. You're like, okay, she has a village. Mm -hmm. And take your head on and go. Uh, Middle Myths mentioned the annual Buddy Walk is October 19th. It's an effort to support people with Down syndrome in our community. Harlow's family will be participating. Now, if you want to donate to the walk, Share Charlotte makes it super easy to connect with local nonprofits like the Down Syndrome Association. You can scan the QR code on your screen right there with your phone. It will take you to the Share Charlotte website where you can learn how to get involved.